they do what they do, what they do, family. It's Brother Tuff, too. Hope everybody doing real good out there. Having a great day. Starting this week off real good. All right. So, as y'all can see, got a little story time for y'all today. Other than that, I'm going to do a little lesson in there, so it's all going to tie in, right? As y'all see, it's going to be a little about a little, low self-esteem, too. Okay. So, starting off today, about like, we hours in the morning, like 4, 4 a.m., 3 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m., somewhere in or in between them, in between one of them. But, um, I got up, I started meditating. I started meditating, I went out, sat in the car, I started meditating, and, you know, I'm doing normal thoughts, just normal thoughts sometimes come through your head, you know, you gotta clear them out and all of that. Boom. My little, what, normal stuff. But, okay, so, a thought happened to come across my mind today. It happened to be about a situation that had happened when I was younger. I was like 13, 14 years old. I was in middle school, like seventh or eighth grade. And it was, I had a crush on the female. I had a crush on the young a girl that was in my, in my class. Um, I think I got her name, actually. But don't, I ain't gonna say it anyway. But, um, so, I had a crush on this, this, this girl in the class and everything the whole year. Now, background on me. My name is Tug, as y'all know. If you don't know if you knew, because I have new people that watch me sometimes and stuff, it's Tug. Gary Indiana Mine. The reason I got the name Tug is because I used to be big. I actually got it around that time too. But, um, so I had a crush on her, but I never approached her for the whole year. For the whole year. And I, 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 I had a crush on her, like, you know, you young, you you like what you see. I don't know if it was just me, but I was young, young dude. I like what I see, so I, I like her. I ain't, I ain't even know her. I never even had a conversation, but I like her. You know what I'm saying? Like she young she. So, I had a crush on her. All of that stuff. Um, Didn't talk to her at all. I always was a little high and bi type stuff. I was shy, heavy set. Those things super low, super low. So, um, I mean, it was crazy. Like, I get the girl little gifts and shit sometimes. Like, for you know, like going to school when you're in school, public school. I know about private schools and all of that type of stuff. But going to like public schools and all of that, it's like we celebrated these Western ass holidays, like Christmas and all of that shit. I live in the U.S., got that new shit. So, you know, the the Western holidays here, we celebrated them. So I used to get a gift, but uh, I got a gift for Christmas. You know, I'm young, I don't want to work, but I'm getting what I can get and you know, all that shit. Little gifts. I wrote, used to write poor. I, I was a, a little, a little, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, a little hopeless romantic motherfucker type of dude. Disgusting. Oh, uh, sick, sick, dude. oh, sick, dude. oh, dude, what the fuck? Red. All right. Um, all of that shit happened. Never spoke to it. Boom. End of the year came. Next year came around. I started to lose some weight. I just was starting to lose some weight. We was going to high school, so yeah, it was eighth grade year. And um, it's like. I remember the first day she was there. We had talked for a minute. She had kind of said she, she fucked with me because I opened up to her a little bit. I said, what's up? Like, I had started to get a little bit more confident like, because I started to lose weight. So I tried to be around her more. So I'd be like, what's up? And I started like, talking around her more type shit. But other than that, it's like she was gone within a week. So. After I found out that she liked me, 
Because at the end of the day, I found out that she liked me. She ended up telling me that she fucked with me even when it was back then. I didn't know that though. So with me not knowing that, and my self-esteem being so low, and me not actually having, it's like I was viewing her, and I seen her potential, but she was seeing my potential. But I didn't have the confidence. I was looking into someone else's potential so much that I couldn't see the potential within myself. So that now, the situation, that's the end of the story. But at the end, basically, I we never, nothing ever happened between us. You know, conversation phases and all of that shit. Boom. Totally separate. Totally, totally different lives. You know, that type of shit. Um, at the end of the day, the lesson that I learned from meditating today, because I thought about that situation, and I played it all the way out, how I felt as far as everything, and I was like, I'm, I'm, you know, just working on myself, trying to pick a lesson that I can gain from each situation. Obviously, I was supposed to learn something from this because it, it came to me, this, this whole situation, and it, was, it came to me clearly. So I was like, maybe I, sh I should, let me pick something that I can gain from this. And that's what I was saying, Every, dealing with the mind, that subconscious mind, things that you have to think about that you can remember from this lifetime. Think about them and try to find some all negative, positive, anything. When you think about it, try to find some positive out of it for you in the future, or find something that can benefit you. So what I found out of this is, Believe in yourself because you can and look at all your potentials. Look at all your look at all your potentials first before you look into someone else's potentials. Look at everything you have and look before you look out and acknowledge someone's self greatness. Fully acknowledge yours and love yours. For real. It's like I was seeing all her potential in her the whole time and all of that type of stuff. And I had lost total confidence within myself and lost total sight of my potential because I was seeing hers and I felt like I wasn't good enough. The whole time, all I had to show was that I was good enough back then and I would have been able to talk to her and we would probably wouldn't have been able to talk to him but you know we were young but this is just an example so I took that as a lesson that I learned from when I was younger my younger years and took the positive out of it to take forward with myself and give to it my brother Tubbs and she support that righteous brand LTG Love the Game have a beautiful day love yourself see your potentials I'm a show nigga, solid in bro, George Jackson, so man, chill for my niggas. Progress and grow so hard to show a wasted trying to figure. One us locked up down bed or air wrong in the blazing triggers. Should be a shame, my nigga, not much to say. No one to save us either. To the real niggas, my field niggas, that's how ramen been a meal, nigga. Keep it.